Hello, it's April and welcome to my toy world. Today I have a huge Playmobil Wiltopia haul to share with you. As you can see here, I have a bunch of Wiltopia Playmobil animals. I'm so, so excited to be adding these to my wild animal collection. I think that this collection looks like so much fun. So you can see here, I have so many animals to open up today. Got some little packs and medium packs, as well as this really wonderful river dolphin in the back there to share with you today. So let's go ahead and get started with our first one here. This is an adorable one that I've been really eager to open up. These are little teeny tiny squirrels on a tree trunk. Looks like they have some little pine cones there. This is a seven piece set. Again, this is Wiltopia by Playmobil. The nice thing about Wiltopia is that they are made with sustainable materials. It says here more than 80% on average, uh, made with 80% on average sustainable materials. So that's nice. They've also got this nice, um, mostly cardboard recyclable packaging which is also very nice. So let's go ahead and check out our first one here. We're gonna build quite an animal collection today with these Wiltopia figures. Okay, so it opens up just like so. I'm gonna go ahead and set that out there. And that's it in there. And we've got a cute little collectible card here. It says squirrels. And it shows where in the world they live. And it looks like you can also scan this and listen to more facts about them. That's really neat. And it gives some uh, measurements of them and weight and how fast they can go. It says they can go 16 miles per hour. That is very fast. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this adorable set. So we've got a cute little stump here. Comes with these really cute little pine cones. And then we've got our absolutely adorable little teeny tiny squirrels. I absolutely love these. I love squirrels. I think that they're so cute. They visit my garden from time to time and I really love them. So there's that squirrel too, a sitting up one and one that looks like it's ready to run around a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set this card off to the side. We'll go ahead and get into our next one. Let's go ahead and open up one of the bigger ones here. This is a tiger. I also have a baby tiger and we'll open up that one next, but let's go ahead and open up the tiger. So neat that you can discover more with that little um, app there. Okay, we'll go ahead and get this one opened up. And I thought it was really neat too on the inside of the box, they have like a little um, game here. It says, which one do I resemble the most? So this one up here and then you've got to match it with the one down here that resembles that the most. So a fun little game inside the cardboard box. And here is our very awesome tiger. Wow, it looks like it'll be able to hold some of the food that they put in here. Its legs move and its head moves up and down. Go ahead and set that there. Here's the card. You can see a picture of the beautiful tiger there. And then we've got this here with some of the accessories. And here are the accessories. It looks like a piece of meat here, as well as a bone for the big tiger to chew on. Let's see if we can put this in its mouth here. Yeah, you kind of can. Kind of tends to fall out a little bit, so maybe it's meant for its bone. Let's try that one. There we go. You can put the bone in its mouth. It does tend to fall right out though. Um, Let's see if I can snap it in better. There we go. So you can put a bone in its mouth and it can be having a little snack there and eating its yummy piece of meat. Okay, now let's go ahead and open up the baby tiger. I love that they have little animals and big animals. I think that that's so fun. Here's the baby tiger picture. Look how cute that is. So, so cute. And then we've got the adorable baby tiger here. It looks like he's ready to pounce and he can also enjoy some food over here with the bigger tiger. And let's see, we've got this here, a fun little mini piece of plant life and a little flower to go on top. So just like so, we can add a little bit more greenery to our scene here. And next, let's go ahead and open up the wolf here. And it looks like the inside of this box also has an activity. This one is a maze. I think it's so fun that they have activities inside these boxes. And here is our wolf. Look at that. That is such a cool 
animal there. And all of its legs move around like so. And then we've got some accessories here, cool wooden log, some plants to put on it. And this plastic says that it is made out of 100% recycled plastic. So that's really nice. So although there's a little bit of plastic, at least it is recycled plastic. Okay, so let's go ahead and build our little piece here. So we've got a little log stump with a little bit of tree uh, material growing out of it. There's some leaves growing off of this stump. Cute little spot here. We could even put one of our squirrels under there. That's pretty cute. Or maybe it's his den, the wolf's den, and he can hide his little bone in it. So he comes with a bone also, just like the tiger did. And here's his card. There is a beautiful picture of a wolf. So that is the wolf set. And now let's go ahead and open up this adorable little red panda. So here is our absolutely cute little red panda. Look at his little face there and his striped tail that goes up or down. So there's our little red panda. Can come and hang out over here behind the wolf. And then we've got another cool bit of plants here to add to our scene. A really cool and interesting flower there. And here is our picture of an adorable red panda. That's so cute. Next, let's open up this animal here. Look at those long horns. Oh, they're kind of bendable. That's nice. I'm going to go ahead and open this one up. And this is an alpine ibex. So an ibex. That's really neat. Its legs move. Set that down there. This is the picture of it, an alpine ibex. It comes with a rock because I think they like to climb. And we've got some plants to make for the rock here. So we'll put that in. And let's see here. And this in the center. And then we can add on all of these little plants. Look at that cool plant on top of the rock for this ibex. So we're making good progress here. We've opened lots of really wonderful animals. Let's go ahead and open this one now. And this next one is an alpaca. So here we have a really cute alpaca. Put the alpaca back here. And at the end, I'll show you these all set up one more time. We've got a fun little hill here that we can put some grass on. And here we have the little hill here with some grass. Push that down in there a little bit more. There's also a little spot for an animal to hide. So we'll go ahead and put that back there and our alpaca can enjoy some grass. Next, let's go ahead and check out a sea creature. This sea creature is a bottlenose dolphin. So we have this beautiful dolphin here. His tail moves up and down to help him swim and his mouth opens and closes and his flippers, they go back and forth like so, so he can swim along in the ocean. Go ahead and set him back here, and he comes with starfish. And here are the really cool starfish. Put those over there by the dolphin. And since we have the big dolphin, let's go ahead and open up the little baby dolphin here. That is so cute. Here is the adorable baby dolphin. This is a baby bottlenose dolphin. And its tail also goes up and down, but its mouth does not open. But we'll set that over there by this one here. Maybe it's his mother. And then we've got some little teeny tiny clams and shells here, a bunch of little shells. And this here, a big giant oyster shell that opens and closes. That's cute. So here are the little shelves that go with the baby dolphin. Very cute. Now let's open up this animal here. So this is an orangutan. Look how cute it is with its long fur along its arms. And she bends down like this and her arms can go up to climb in the trees. She even comes with a vine that we can attach to a Playmobil tree if we want, or she could just be pretending to hang on that. 
and swing along the branches. And she also comes along with a bunch of bananas, the perfect food for this orangutan. Here is the picture of the orangutan. You can see how long the um, fur is on their arms. They're really interesting animals. We also have a baby orangutan. Here is the adorable baby orangutan. And look, it's got a little spot here on its foot to hang on also to the branches that its mother can hold on to as well. So we've got the mom and the baby orangutan, some more bananas. They're gonna have a lot of bananas. And that also came with this plant here. So we've got a little plant for them. And here is the card for the baby orangutan. They have such adorable little faces. Let's open up another small animal. These adorable little meerkats. Okay, the meerkats came with a cute little log to sit on. We've got one meerkat that is sitting down and can sit on its little tree stump here. That's so cute. And here's another one standing up and looking around. I love the way that meerkats stand up like that. I think it's so cute. We'll have that one peeking out behind. And here is the card for the meerkat. Now let's go ahead and open up this polar bear. Here is our polar bear card. You can see that very large polar bear walking on some snowy ice. And here is the polar bear. His mouth opens up so you can see his teeth. He can eat some fish and all of his legs move. Go ahead and set him right here and open up his accessories. He comes with some ice and some fish. Here are his fish and his little ice to stand on, just like so. Let's put one of these fish in his mouth because bears do love fish. Okay, so that is our polar bear and there is also a baby polar bear. So here is our adorable little baby polar bear. Its head moves up and down just like the mother's over here. And we've got a snowball that we can put together for him, just like so. Let's snap that together and now he's got a little snowball to play with. And here is the card for the baby polar bear. Look at that. Let's open another animal that lives in the cold temperatures, just like the polar bear. And it also comes with ice and fish. Let's see what animal this is. This is a little baby seal. Look how cute that little baby seal is. And it comes with some fish and some ice. That way it can sit on the ice and catch some fish. We'll put that on the other side away from the polar bears. So I've moved some of the animals to the back here so we have room for more of our animals. This is a baby alpaca. Let's go ahead and open it up so it can join its mother back there. And here is the teeny tiny adorable alpaca. It also comes with some grass to eat and a little piece of grass to eat down on the ground. So we'll go ahead and put it back with its mother. And here is the baby alpaca's card. And now let's open up this amazing bird here. Okay, this bird is a golden eagle. And here it is. Wow, look at its big beak there and its yellow eyes. Its legs can go back while it's flying or it can move forward when it lands. That is really neat looking. Look at how big its wings are. Let's go ahead and build a tree for it. Came with a little tree for the eagle to land on. And here's the tree and a spot for the eagle to land. Let's go ahead and see what else it came with here. And it came with some little teeny tiny mice because a lot of times eagles and hawks catch mice out in the fields. So we'll put these down here for the eagle to hunt and I'm sure some will run away and hide. Next, let's open up another little baby. This is a panda bear baby. Here is the card of the baby panda and it comes with some bamboo for the baby panda to eat. And here is the baby panda. Its head moves up and down. 
and it's really cute and tiny. We'll go ahead and set that there and put together its bamboo. So here are the bamboo uh, stalks for the baby panda to eat, as well as some extra little pieces here. So we'll put that right here. And we have the mama panda bear. And here is the big panda bear. Its head also moves up and down. It's a little stiff, but it does move up and down and its legs and arms move too. Let's set it down by the baby and see what accessories it comes with. Here is the card for the big panda. And let's go ahead and put together more bamboo. And here is more bamboo, a little bamboo forest for the pandas as well as some more bamboo for them to eat on the ground. Now let's open up this little tiny baby forest creature, a little deer. Here is the little fawn's card. A baby deer is called a fawn. And here it is, this adorable little baby fawn with all the spots to help it blend in to the woods. Put that back here and see what it came with. It came with some mushrooms. Let's go ahead and build those. Put this piece in here like so. And then we'll add mushrooms to the top. And here are the little mushrooms for the forest that the little baby fawn is in. That's really neat. Okay, put that back here for the little baby fawn. Okay, we have a one tiny animal to open up and we still have a bunch of big animals to open up. Let's go ahead and open up our last baby animal, and this is a baby raccoon. I hope that they have a, a grown-up deer and a grown-up raccoon to buy also at some point. I'll have to look for those. Here is the card for the raccoon, and you can see this adorable little teeny tiny raccoon with his striped tail and his masked eyes. He's so cute, and he comes with a bunch of fruit and vegetables. It looks like an apple and some bananas and carrots and a little basket to keep all the fruits in. And the little raccoon can even sit in the basket and enjoy a snack of fruit. Let's see if he can hold one of the carrots. There we go. He can hold a little carrot and have a snack. Raccoons love to eat things like this. That's so cute. We'll put him back here by the meerkats and behind the fawn. Next, let's open up this really tall animal here, a giraffe. So here's the giraffe's card. You can see where they live down there in Africa. So that's a giraffe. And here he is, a really tall animal. We'll have to put him back by the trees. I like all of his uh, spots. It's really neat, and his head moves all the way down so he can eat things from the ground or reach up and eat from the trees. He comes with this and also some hay for the giraffe. We'll go ahead and put him back here by the tree and he can work on some of those leaves. But if he gets hungry, he can also have some hay. Next, let's open this animal here. This is a moose. Look at its big antlers there. And he can move his head up and down to eat. His legs don't move. Wow, he's a really big animal. Here's his card, a moose. Let's go ahead and put this together. He also comes with mushrooms. Instead of brown mushrooms, we have red mushrooms. So we'll go ahead and put those back by our moose. Next, let's go ahead and open up this elephant. Okay, so here is our adorable elephant. See, do his ears move just a little bit? Kind of wiggle a little tiny bit. And his legs move. That's really cute. Here is the elephant's card. This is a young African elephant. So a young African elephant. There are also Asian elephants. Let's go ahead and see what he has. He comes with a stick and some grass, and he can hold the stick with his trunk, just like so. So if he wants, he can carry a stick around, and he can also pick up this grass. We'll go ahead and set him back here. 
So, so far we have animals from all around the world. We have three more individual animals to open up and then we'll open up our set here. Let's open up this cute penguin. This is an emperor penguin. So you can see he has orange here by his neck and a white uh, stomach and black on his back and head and feet. So that is an emperor penguin. And here is the picture of the emperor penguin. And let's see what he comes with. We have two chunks of ice for our penguin. That looks neat. And then we have a bunch of fish here. Lots of shiny silver fish for him. Next, let's open up this really interesting turtle. This is actually not a turtle. It is a Galapagos giant tortoise. So a Galapagos giant tortoise from the Galapagos Islands. That's really cool. And there he is. Wow. Look at his the pattern on his back and his flippers move as well as his feet and even his little tail and his head moves up and down. That's really fun. Set him right here and see what he comes with. He comes with some eggs, turtle eggs, and then also a collection of little shells. Here's our last individual animal and we have a lion. And here is our lion. His mouth opens and shuts and he can move his head down to eat or lift it up to roar. And his tail moves and his legs move. So that is a lion. Here is the lion's card. And he also came with some meat that he's eating and some bones that he already ate. So that is the lion. Next we have this set here, this really wonderful set. Let's go ahead and take a close-up look at the box. You can see these beautiful pink river dolphins, some characters here on uh, paddle boards, and a little hut for them to take a break in. Wow, this is really fun. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all opened up and show you the pieces, and then we'll put it together. I have our river dolphins all opened up, their whole set here. Here's the card. They are called Amazon River Dolphins. They look really interesting. Here is one of them. You can see it opens and closes its mouth. It's got really cute little eyes. It's got a little fins here that can move as well as its tail fin. So there's one. And here's the other, the littler one. So cute. I love how they're pink and speckled with gray. We've also got some people exploring. Here we have her. She's got a watch on and a skirt. She also comes with a little towel, sort of a covering towel here, so that if she gets wet maybe while she's out exploring, she can dry off. So she's all ready to go. And so is she. They've got a couple of paddles here. We'll go ahead and put one in each of their hands. Just like so. And here's hers. She's also got a really cute little hat on. And here's her little paddle board here that she can stand right on. That way she can go out and explore these dolphins and she is also ready to go. Hers has vines on it and the other one has what looks like a rope pattern. It also came with a bunch of really adorable little animal accessories, these little teeny tiny turtles. We've got a green one and a pink one and another little brown one. So a bunch of little turtles. And then a bunch of little lily pads here floating in the river with the little flowers and leaves. Here's that one. And this one. And this one with a frog. A really cool spotted frog. And another one here. So you can kind of set that out so it looks like they're exploring along a river. Here's the little pamphlet that comes with it of shows how to build it. We'll build this hut here in a second. There's some other information about Wiltopia and Playmobil. It gives instructions on how to build everything. And this is what we're building next. A little hut here. 
And here's a checklist for all the animals. We'll have to go through and check them off. We have the giraffe and the elephant and the ibex and dolphin and moose and orangutan and wolf and tiger and lion and polar bear, the Galapagos tortoise, the eagle, the panda bear, the emperor penguin, the alpaca, and then we have the baby fawn, the meerkats, the little uh, seal, the baby alpaca, the squirrels, the raccoon, the red panda, the baby panda, the baby polar bear, the baby orangutan, the baby tiger, and the baby dolphin. So, so far we have every single one of these animals here. Wow. And here are some other sets that I would also love to collect. We've got this tower here, um, some manatees. We have that one. And then we've got this really cool thing here, an exploring car for going out on safari or out into the jungle. We've got this little center here. And wow, a fun playset here too, and a giant anteater. I definitely hope to collect all of these sets and share them with you. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put together this um, hut here. I've snapped each of these pieces into place on the bottom. I've slid these little pegs down, and then we've added the hammock, just like so. And now we've snapped on the top here and next you're going to snap these into place around the outside. They snap in just like so along the outside edge. There's a little spot for them to hook in on each little post here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And now for the top. Just like so. So now our people here can float along the water to see these wonderful river dolphins. And when they're done, they can take a break and hang out up here in this little viewing area. We opened up so many fun animals today. Let's go ahead and take a close up look. enjoyed taking a look at this wonderful collection of Playmobil Wiltopia wild animals. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye!